everybody! These days, the thing that is taking most of my time, besides video making of course, is searching for gifts. Every time I ask someone on my list what they want for Christmas, they say, I don't know, or something small, something inexpensive. Well, <laughs> I've been searching best gift ideas for blank so often and I've come across a bunch of stuff that I want to share with you today that I love, that I've bought before or I've gotten for someone else this year or that I want to get for someone and I decided to put my research and my ideas to more use and share it with you guys today and I'm just gonna jump right into it because I have so many items all over my bed, all over my floor right now so today I'm gonna share with you 30 stocking stuffer and small gift ideas. I think I forgot to mention, also it's under $30, but you already knew that because that was in the title. Alright, first up is the most important item to me because it's what I wear most of the time. As you can see, right now I'm even wearing them. It's pajamas. As soon as I get home, they're the first thing I throw on. I always want to feel cozy and it's definitely a bonus to have Christmas pajamas. I start wearing Christmas pajamas in October because it just makes me feel happy. So, I feel like giving pajamas, it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas pajamas um, depending on when you're giving it to them, if it's sort of near the beginning, middle of the month maybe it's useful but if it's right on Christmas Eve maybe they're not so useful <laughs> unless they want to keep wearing them for the rest of the year after Christmas which is fine, I'll probably do that too to be honest but I feel like giving pajamas is a really easy gift I find it's the thing that I most often give people because buying clothes is difficult, you don't know if it's going to fit them right, you don't know their taste, but I feel like everyone loves cute, cozy pajamas and even if you get them a bit too big, they'll be more cozier, so I don't know, I feel like you can't go wrong with buying pajamas for people. Everybody needs them, everybody loves them, I love them. Next up is makeup sets. Just walk into any department store where you are and there are so many limited item Christmas sets with either small little bottles of makeup so you can get a wide variety of items at a discounted price or you can try things that you've wanted to try. I know Sephora has so many little packages like all their best mascaras in one, all different little discounted bundles for you to try and a lot of makeup brands have limited items only to Christmas so you can find limited palettes and colors and that sort of thing so I always think that those make such a great gift. Next is for people who love gadgets, specifically drones. This is a tiny little pocket drone, it's called the Jet Jet Nano and it's tiny and cute and I actually got this for my boyfriend as a little stocking stuffer so yeah I think it's a cute idea and I just checked on Amazon now, it's actually slightly more than $30, it's $35 right now so Sorry, it's around $30 though. Another one of my favorite things to give and to get is Lush items. And Lush has the cutest little packaged Christmas gifts right now. They're perfect to shove in stockings or just on top of a gift, so cute. This one's called Rudy and it has two bath bombs inside. This one is about $17, but if you go into Lush, you'll see they have so many different packages to suit all budgets. Everyone loves a good Lush pampering session. Even my boyfriend, when I run him a bubble bath, pop in a bath bomb and give him a face mask to put on, he really enjoys it. So I feel like you can't go wrong with Lush for anyone on your list. Cute socks. I love me a good pair of socks. Christmas socks or warm, cozy, fuzzy socks are always on my list. These are all from ASOS.com. They have men's and women's. Also, Forever 21 has really cute socks right now and H&M, which are three shops that I will be naming a lot in this video because they have a lot of cute seasonal and inexpensive items. But yeah, I think these make great stocking stuffers and everybody always needs socks. Next up is a little gift basket idea, but you could also throw it into a stocking if you wanted to. Basically a movie night in a basket, so you can put that person's favorite snacks and drinks. I got some little Christmas snacks here. And then you just grab an iTunes gift card, pop it in here, and they can rent a movie and have a really nice night in. And also you can wrap it up really cute with that cellophane wrap, I think that's what it's called, that clear wrap, and make a bow and like a nice card and everything like that. Another thing you could grab is games, specifically small little trivia or card games for stockings or bigger board games as gifts. I love board games. It's my favorite thing to do whenever I have people over and I think it makes a great gift now especially because a lot of family or friends are coming over or you're going to their houses 
and you're hanging out, eating it, so it just gives you something else to do. Another thing I've come to appreciate since living in Japan is a good cup of tea. And I think that makes a great gift, especially if for me, when I go home, a lot of people in my country want me to bring home Japanese green tea or matcha. So I think another great gift is to get a really cute mug. You could buy one or you could make one yourself. And then grab some teas and just make a little package together. And I think anyone will love that. Another thing that I'm really into right now is candles. Let me get this one. It smells like spicy Christmas. I got it on azos.com and it's a little Santa Claus candle. So I really appreciate a nice candle, either one that's decorative and looks pretty or one that smells nice. Either way, I love candles and I think they make a great gift. Um, I got this one on azos.com. It's by the brand, this is really dangerous. I feel like it's gonna spill any second. New look. And I got it from my office upstairs because I'm into everything rose gold up there. And I'm just gonna pop a tea light in there. But it was only seven pounds, so I feel like this is a really nice gift for the home. Gift certificates. The easiest thing to buy for anyone. If you know what their favorite shops are, like clothing shops, where they often eat or go for lunch during work or school, um, Starbucks is always a good one or Tim Hortons if you're in Canada, what up Canada? Even the gas station if they drive a car. Either way, there's always a gift certificate for everyone and it makes a really easy gift so that they can get what they want. I feel like this one from Starbucks works for anyone on my list, anyone at all. A 2017 planner, journal, or calendar. Oh my gosh, that is scary. 2017 is almost here and that means you have to get rid of your 2016 journal and get a new one. I feel like these are always useful and it's always good to be organized and get these ahead of time because, I don't know, it's like Christmas happens and then it's already New Year's before you know it and then 2017's here and that's pretty crazy so get ready for it. A phone case. You see these everywhere but I feel like everyone needs them and it's always fun to change up your case once in a while to go with a different style or just for a, a new and fresh change. I just got this one on society6.com. I feel like a phone case is always useful whether they have Android, iPhone, whatever they're using. Whether it be simple like this with a nice design or a more functional one that you can put cards into. Yeah. Okay. Self-reflection books, journals for self-exploration, um, those de-stressing coloring books. I also found one online called Conquer Your Year. I feel like these types of books are really good to have or to give people, especially now during the busy holidays. It just reminds everyone to take some time out for themselves and just really reflect and wind down in distress. My next idea is books, whether that be a novel or manga. Depending on what the person's into, books are usually a pretty good gift. Even if they're not into reading big novels or this sort of thing, even those small books that are either have like comics or funny things inside or inspirational quotes, I love those books just with quotes and you can get little ones that you can put in stocking or you could even make it yourself. Depending on who the person is, you could get you could write quotes that apply to them. Like, say you're giving it to your sister, you could write sister quotes or quotes that apply to their job or just things that you think will inspire them and make them feel good and make them feel happy. I also came across a lot of two mitt scarf sort of sets. Either you can buy them separately or together. My new love, misguided.com, has really nice sets with um, hats, scarves, and gloves. I bought the black. Um, toque with the little pom-pom on top already. Um, it's on the way so I can't show you. But not only that store, I feel like any cute hat or gloves or scarf or even better if you can get all of them in a package together for under $30, it makes a really nice gift and a very useful gift for anyone, men or women, young or old. Those are always needed and very much appreciated if you're living in a colder country. Alright, I think we're on number 16 and my 16th idea is a blanket. I think it's a really cute idea to give it to a boyfriend or girlfriend too because I feel like it kind of gives you a meaning like when I'm not around this can hug you and keep you warm. So you can find a really cute, soft, fuzzy, furry, cozy blanket and give it to someone and it could be, you could make it even more personal if it's some sort of character or color or design that they really like 
or you could try and knit one yourself. I think it's a really nice and useful gift. All right, I know probably half of you predicted this coming, but I have to throw it in here because I really love them. I would love to receive any of them. Um, I'm probably gonna give people some of them. So yeah, the Kylie Jenner lip kits. Um, my ultimate go-to colors are Exposed and Candy K. And the one that I'm wearing right now is Ochre. It's the Coco collection, but also the red in Mary Jo K is nice too for the holidays. On her website, she has the lip kit for $30 and some of them come in a little cute packaging that you can hang on the tree like an ornament. So I really love that, but you guys already knew that. Right now, I'm constantly reaching for hand cream. My hands always feel dry from the cold weather, the wind, the dry heat. Um, just doing a lot of things with my hands like setting up Christmas trees, cooking, those DIY stuff. My hands just always don't feel that nice. So I'm always reaching for hand cream and I feel like this would make a great gift because L'Occitane has some great hand cream gift sets where you can get many scents in one package. And all of their hand creams smell really good, feel amazing, they're probably my favorite. So. Yeah, I feel like this makes a really nice little gift or you could buy them individually or whatever and stick them in the stocking. Slippers. I can't go anywhere without my slippers. Mine have fallen down right here and I have this whiteboard so I'm not going to show you guys right now but I have quite the collection of slippers. No matter what time of the year it is, I have slippers that apply to that. Like you saw my Halloween ones, now I'm into Christmas but I always love warm fuzzy slippers in the house. It's the first thing I put on in the morning and the last thing I take off when I go to bed. So cute slippers are always great to have and I think make a really nice gift. So I found these gloves on Amazon and I've ordered them but I haven't received them yet. I'm gonna insert a picture when I get them. But they're called E-Tip gloves and I got them for my boyfriend because he's constantly on his phone so I feel like these are a good idea for anyone that has to work from their phone or do a lot of business or is just constantly on their phone because you can keep your hands warm at the same time because usually when you wear normal gloves, you can't use um, the touch screen. But these gloves allow you to do that so you can keep working or checking social media and keep your hands warm at the same time. They have men's and women's, a bunch of different sizes. By the time this video comes out, I would have already given them to him, I think. so. I'm assuming, I think he's really gonna like them. I think it's a great little invention. Next up is a lens for an iPhone. They have so many different lenses out there. This one is a super wide lens, which I find is really useful for a time lapse. I often take time lapses just on my phone because the camera quality on the iPhone is, is pretty good. And using a widescreen allows you to fit even more of your environment into the shot. And it's especially good when you're shooting landscapes or outside or something like that. You guys all know how much I love time lapses, so I feel like anyone who's making videos or enjoys taking that sort of thing would love this gift. Or even right now for the holidays, if you have a big family and you need to squeeze everyone in for photos, maybe a wide lens is a good idea. It's something that I use a lot and it's a good practical thing to have. Another idea is a snack box subscription. Those have become really popular recently and there's so many choices for every kind of diet. There's healthy, not so healthy, vegan, ones for dogs. And I feel like anyone would appreciate getting food delivered to their door and just having an assortment of snacks to choose from. I know I sure would. Depending on the price you go for, maybe you can only get one to two months for $30 and if they like it, they can continue or you can choose to cancel it. But I think it's a good gift for someone that you're not sure what exactly to get for them. Everyone could always use food or snacks. Forever 21 has the cutest little bags ever. I saw them the other day. There's this handbag that comes in black or maroon color with a little pom-pom on it and it looks so adorable. And then they also have this fuzzy little backpack. It's not like a big backpack size, it's a little mini one and it is so, so cute. And I think those would make really sweet gifts for someone. Another idea is tickets. Tickets to a concert, a sports game, a play. Whatever that person's into, just find their favorite thing for that, say it's a band or a sports team, and grab them some tickets. Next up on my list we have... I picked up a bunch of these books. If you know someone who really likes to travel, you can grab them one, or if you know someone that's planning to go somewhere soon, or wants to go somewhere one day, like if they're, they really love Japan and they plan on traveling there one day, you could get them a book about Japan so that they could start planning. And if they're really interested in it, I'm sure they would love these books. So 
it could be a book on like things to do or this is like a Michelin guide so it's all the best restaurants and hotels for a certain area that they're interested in or if you don't know where they're interested in you could get a general one like this is the best in travel 2017 if there's one thing that really enriches you and I think it's the best money spent is traveling I've done that most of my life and I feel like it really opens your mind and really enriches you and that is something I never regret spending money or time on because it with that comes a lot of experience knowledge, you get to learn other cultures, and you just really grow so much yourself. So for anyone who loves traveling or wants to travel, I think they would really enjoy these. Another idea is to give the gift of your time, meaning go help out at places that are in need, such as animal shelters or elderly homes or feeding centers, hospitals. Not only does the person you're helping with receive a, a great gift, but you'll feel amazing inside and you're sort of giving a gift to yourself in that sense. Another great idea for someone that you really have no idea what to get them or they keep telling you they don't want nothing or even if you know what to get them, this always makes a good gift, is to donate to a, one of their favorite charities on their behalf. A cute little item that I just received that I want to show you guys as a gift idea is this jewelry hanger in rose gold. I got it on ASOS.com. It's from the company called Sass and Bell. It was only 10 pounds and I think it is so cute in your bathroom or your bedroom and you can just hang jewelry wherever you see fit, little earrings in the leaves. It's a really adorable way to just organize your jewelry and have it on display. And speaking of sort of homeware, any sort of homeware I think is always a great idea such as vases or a nice bowl or frames. And I think that makes a great gift because it sort of lasts forever. Unlike clothing or accessories that sort of go in and out of style, if you find a really nice vase or like bowl or something like that, it will never go out of style and that person can use it and cherish it and remember who it's from forever. Are we on the last one? I think we're on the last one, guys. Yeah, this should be number 30, hopefully. <laughs> Um, I kind of got out of order and talked about other things, so I think we're on number 30. But my last idea, I came across this kit from a company called Plant Theater. So they have a bunch of different kits that have different unusual fruit and vegetables in them, and it just comes with all the seeds and the tools you need to grow them. And especially if you have someone who's vegan or vegetarian or just really loves their fruit and vegetables to buy for, I think this is a really unique and fun idea. All right, that is all of my 30 gift ideas, stocking stuffer ideas under $30. I hope you guys really liked this video and I hope it helped you out a bit. Let me know in the comment section if there's something that caught your eye that you would love to receive or you want to give to someone. Um, and if you have your own gift idea that's under $30, please comment in the comment section so that it can help people out because I'm sure there's many great ideas that I just couldn't think of and I'm still looking. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading your comments about that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I'm going to show you 30 small gift and stocking stuffer. Stuff. And stocking stuffer. Why can I say that? and stocking stuffing stuff ah! Elbow sound escaping me Yeah, I'm still filming It's so late, I'm so tired I have like 30 items to get through right now Every day I'm hustling Every day I'm hustling Can I call you back?